Like, forget about the Stone Boys for a minute. My dad is cheating on my mom. Um, here, I got plenty of tea. You need some, you need some. Loving, I'm living, so we turn it up. Yeah, we turn it up. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. I just love that saying. It's like the most fun part of the video. Anyway, once you have slapped that subscribe button, make sure to follow my social medias over here right now to stay updated with all the information. I'm actually gonna um, announce something on my Instagram on Friday, so uh, make sure you're following and have those post notifications on, cause you don't wanna miss this. But let me not spoil it. Anyways, we are back with more episode. I couldn't leave y'all hanging because because like the tea with the boys, the tea with Nicole, the tea with my dad, oh, I had to get back in because I needed to know what was going on and you needed to know what's going on. But y'all know before we jump on into the episode, I gotta give a shout out to my donators, the people who bring the gold choices to life on episode. Y'all ready? A big special thanks to Carrig Kale Dijon. I don't know if I said it right, but I love you so much. Thank you, Craig. And Beth Schmidt, Spencer Perry, thank you so much for your donation. You are, I just, I wanna hug all of you. Jade Chapman, thank you so much. Natalie Mendoza donated again. And Brayden Brown also donated again. I love you guys so much. You make me want to like dance. You make me want to do like five cartwheels around my house and then I remember that I am not in shape. But I love you just the same. So if you're ready to jump into episode, click that like button right now. Chapter 18. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot about her at my house. I can already hear the rumors flying around school. Nicole scrubbing toilets. Nicole's broke. I deserve it. It's almost funny. All the mean things I did coming back around on me and all because of the Stone Boys. Hmm, well, what we learn, what would they have to do with anything? Seriously, they're the reason my life's a living hell right now. Are you sure it isn't because you tried to leak my business to the school? But okay, girl, okay. I had a chance to come back to school, but Cole made sure of it that I would never walk at graduation. Oh, when exactly were Cole and Jake going to ask my opinion on all of this? You're furious, confront the stone boys. No one fights your battles for you. You're a little perturbed? What are these words? Ask the stone boys about Nicole's accusations. I'm going to not yell at them because I do want her expelled. Like that was my personal business. So I'm gonna go with the second one. I'm gonna ask the boys what happened because I want to know the tea. Y'all know me. Oh, who got a pool? They got a pool? Oh. Hey guys, hey Shortcake, come to join me for a lap? First off, no. And secondly, I get home today and Nicole's sitting on my front porch. What? Yeah, what? Really? That's weird. Yeah, it is. Did she hurt you? Not exactly. Well, what then? What the hell does she want with you anymore? Actually, I was hoping you two might clarify that for me. How exactly? She tells me the reason that she's crying day and night, working a minimum wage job, trying to get into a community college, suspended, kicked off cheerleading, and not walking at graduation is because of you two. Is that true? She got what she deserved. I don't need you getting revenge for me. What about prom? What about it? Or Hank's party? You mean the one you made me go to? What happened wasn't my fault. Stop! This isn't about you looking out for me. This is about you making decisions for me, fighting my battles. Look, we were just trying to protect you. As long as Nicole's around, there'll be plenty more misery coming her way. Nobody hurts my shortcake like that. My shortcake. Romeo over here thinks he's doing the romantic thing. Listen, Tessa, Cole's all talk. I actually went down to the police station and filed a report. My dad's taking the case personally. The sheriff's department might press criminal charges against Nicole. Oh, dang. Excuse me? That's right, criminal charges. She could go to juvie. Haven't you been listening to a word I've said? Did you even think to ask me? Don't you think that's my choice to make, Jay? Well, told you it was a bad idea. Oh, shut up already, Cole. Tessa, I'm sorry, I never meant to. I don't wanna be part of your stupid, weird, brotherly pact. I don't wanna be your girlfriend. I don't wanna be your anything. Tessie. Wait, shortcake. Shit. Oh, I just broke up with Cole and I was like, no, Jay, you can stay far away from me because y'all are weird. Yeah. The, wow. 
This is a juicy episode, y'all. Forget them. I'm done with boys. For good. Dang. Bye, stone boys. What? May we come in? Whatever. Ooh. Don't give your mom too much attitude now. Oh, and dad, a cheater, but we wanted to talk about something. Your mother and I have agreed that it's probably for the best if we got a divorce. What? Whatever, nothing matters. What? This can't be happening. What? What? A divorce? Mom, I know dad's a worthless cheating piece of Tessa. Garbage. But I mean, do you guys have to get divorced? We think it's what's best for the family. Did you ever think to ask the family what's best for the family? Oh, Tessa has had it. No, didn't think so. Tessa, don't disrespect your mother like that. The decision has been made. Yeah, and the decision has been made for you to cheat too, huh? Sweetie, do you have any questions? What would I ask? Oh, what's gonna happen now? Your mom's moving back to Brooklyn to pursue her modeling dreams. <gasps> Please, don't use that tone. What tone? The patronizing tone. You don't think I'm gonna make it, do you? Well, you're a little old to be hand modeling. And you're a little old to be screwing the secretary. Mom, that clap back! Does she even know how to drive, Jeff? Oh my gosh, I have to leave. Listen, my mom, she's not having it. Yeah, a stick shift. <gasps> okay, what? Well, your daughter is standing right here. Ugh, you disgust me. If you could have just kept it in your pants. Well, if you weren't high all the time on painkillers. <gasps> the tea's spilling today, y'all. Maybe I'd actually feel something for you. Oh, so this is all about you? Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And what's Travis doing about all this? Did you see it coming too? I thought they were happy. It's not like mom or dad would have expected you to notice. You've had it rough between the stones and Nicole and everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what happens now? I don't know. Dad said I'm the man of the house now. So we're basically parentless? Two orphans just traveling along. You know what they told me last night? That it's time for me to take some responsibility for my life. What a joke. How can they be so selfish? Hey, I got an idea. Let's cheer you up, yeah? I don't know if I'm in the mood. Come on, I'm picking up Beth in a little while. Why don't you come to dinner with us? And be the third wheel? Ugh. But won't it be weird with me as the third wheel? Who knows, maybe you'll meet the love of your life. On a dinner date with my brother? Anything's possible. He right. All right, Justin Bieber could be there. Let me go get ready. Uh-oh. Grant! What is he doing here? We thought you could use some company. Why would you? What the? WTF, Travis, or OMG, this is so humiliating. What? You lied to me. No, I just left out a few minor details. This isn't funny, Travis. You were the one concerned about being a third wheel and all. Besides, it was Beth's idea. Ugh! Great. This is so weird. Like, we didn't just have a fight. Like, I didn't just tell them off earlier, but it's fine. Don't, don't worry about Tessa's feelings. This is not a date. You're right. It's not a date. It's whatever you want it to be, Tessie. It's your choice to make. Hmm. My choice. Well, we're all here now, so let's eat, I guess. I swear, they told me you knew I would be here. It's fine, Jay. Who is that? Oh, the waiter? Hey, waiter. Pardon, monsieur. Would you like a glass of wine this evening? No, thanks. I'm going on two months now. Sober. Oh, please forgive me, and congratulations. Oh, we're having a good time. I'm shook. You two make a nice couple. I have to say, I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've always been skeptical of you stone boys. But I think Jay's a real winner. And he's so handsome. This isn't creepy at all. When did Beth and Travis become my parents? All right, when mom and dad went crazy. I agree with Beth on the nice couple thing. What do you think? Yes, Jay's always had my back. No, we're not a couple. I said this earlier. No. Once again, this is not a date and we are not a couple. Not right now, but who knows what the future holds. I do, call me that so raven. I appreciate it, but I don't think I'm ready for anything yet. No one's asking, not tonight. Good. Whew, 
The waiter's back. I got it. You sure, babe? Of course, it's my pleasure. Hey, I have an idea. Do you like surprises? Who doesn't? There's this place I want to take you, and I think you'll really like it. What kind of place? If I tell you, it's not a surprise. But I can give you a hint. It's a place we can score. Excuse Very subtle, Jay. I'm intrigued. You know what? This is not a date wherever we're going, but I will go because I want to see where he's gonna take me, you know? So thank you donators for this, we gonna go. Sure, let's ditch these losers. That's the spirit. Where are you two going? It's a surprise. Don't worry, no drinking. Just wanna get out of this stuffy restaurant. Thanks for dinner. Anytime. What did we eat, by the way? I guess that's not important. They really do make a great couple. Oh, heck yeah! This is a date. This is definitely a date. This isn't exactly what I had in mind when you said you were going to score. But I'm loving this place. It's the best. It's nice not to have to think about life for a moment. I heard about your parents. I'm sorry. And there he goes, bringing in the life. It's okay, I'll get through it. I always do. Listen, Tessie, I thought about what you said the other day, and if I ever overstep my bounds about anything, Nicole, Cole, whatever, I'm really sorry. I honestly thought I was doing the right thing. Do you feel sorry for her? It's not sorry, it's just pity. Yeah, or something close to it. I can't separate myself from the past. I dated Nicole. Yeah, you really suck for that. <laughs> yeah, guess I kinda do. I guess what I'm trying to say is I hate what Nicole became and what she did to you, but not who she was, is. You think there's good in her? I think there's good in everyone. Hmm, even Cole. Well, now I know you're lying. Oh, us! Cole did start the fight in the band room. I still can't believe you thought that stupid pact was a good idea. What did you think was gonna happen? I don't know. I guess we didn't think about it. That's the problem with boys. No forethought. You're probably right about that. I chose Cole, Jay, from the start. But that doesn't mean Cole and I are just gonna run away together. You're still a part of my life. I know. And I don't wanna create a wedge between you and him. I just want you back in my life, Tessa. Will you give me another chance to prove myself to you? I think I can do that, but don't push it. Me. Hey, we're back at our play ground area where we used to hang out. This was fun, thanks. You don't have to thank me, Tessie. Remember our first date? We didn't even know if it was a real date or not. Was this a real date? I've been saying no, this wasn't a date the whole time. Why is she being like this? Like I said earlier, it's whatever you want it to be. Come on, don't be coy with me. Admit it. You knew Beth and Travis were dragging me to dinner and this was a setup. No, I swear, if I had known you'd be uncomfortable in any way. Oh, save it for the jury stone. Uh-oh. Uh? -oh. uh What's she doing here? I think she's crying. And drunk. Shit. Hold on. What are you doing here? This used to be our spot, when things were so much simpler. And we were all friends. That was a long time ago, Nicole. And before you decided to ruin my life. I just don't understand. What happened? What changed? You! Da, 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 soldier boy, tell him. You did. You changed. She's drunk, Jay. Don't listen to her. Was I really all that bad? When you really think about it? Yes. Yes, you were. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know what you got up your sleeve, Nicole, but you moping around like this, it doesn't suit you. You should go home, get some sleep. I'll call you a cab. We were having a really nice evening before you showed up, and I'm not gonna let you wreck the rest of our night, Nicole. I'm sorry, Tessa. I shouldn't have taken Jay away from you. I knew you always liked him. I knew he meant the world to you. Shut up. Wait, I want to hear her out. Let's leave now. I, I, I kind of want to hear this. Wait, let's hear her out. Her drunk ass. You were always a sweetheart to me and Tessa, Jay. And I wish I could take back the past. You can't. What's done is done. Tessa, he used to talk about you in his sleep. He'd dream about you. 
whisper your name. He never really loved me. Not the way he loved you. That's enough, Nicole. Wait, Tessa, Tessa, please, please forgive me. I hope you've really changed, Nicole. Truly, I do. But I can't forget, and I can't forgive you. Ooh, I don't feel bad. Well, this has been an eventful night, I'll say. She's okay, right? Nicole? Yeah, the cab driver said he'd pick her up in five, 10 minutes. I had a good time regardless. A nice dinner. Two friends. Yeah, me too. Two friends. Oh, what the hell? It was a date. Ah! Oh, Allie! I mean, Tess! Uh, do you hear that music? Yeah, that's strange. Who's having a party? Wait, what? Cole? What the hell are you doing inside my house? And who are all these people? Time for a rager shortcake. I know you've been mad at me and all, but don't worry. Cole Stone always knows how to cheer you up. With a party that I didn't ask for? It's over? Oh, no, 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 we're going back in for more. Chapter 19. Why would you have a party at somebody else's house without asking them? Time for a rager shortcake. I know you've been mad at me and all, but don't worry. Cole Stone always knows how to cheer you up. No. A rager? Really, Cole? You think a rager is what I need? What's a rager? A party, like, come on, Tessa. We can go back to my place. No, wait, don't be such a wet blanket, bro. Tessa needs to relax, unwind, party. Please slow down and explain to me what the hell's going on. Your dad called my dad and said to look after his Tessie. Said you could use some cheering up. You know, because of the divorce and all. That's rude. Cole is so immature. Why do I even like him? This is insanely inappropriate, man. You think a party's what Tessa needs right now? You really don't have a clue, do you? Tonight's not about fighting, brother of mine. It's about raging. Join the fun. Megan brought chips and guac. You know you can't resist the guac. I actually don't like guacamole, but whatever. Wait, Megan's here? Megan! Hey, girl! This is just another one of your attempts to win Tessa back. Can't you see she would rather be with me? What's that supposed to mean? You don't own her. I guess Cole does listen to some of the things I say. She kissed me, after all. Tessa can do whatever she wants, and right now, she wants to rage! Maybe, I guess, just cause Megan's here, but. Well, the offer's open if you wanna come back to my place. We can watch a movie or something. Netflix and chill, huh? That would be fun, but, but what? Well, a bunch of my friends are here, and this is my house. And my dad's with his secretary and my mom's figuring out her shit and maybe Cole's right. Maybe I should just relax and have fun. Ooh, well, I thought we had fun earlier. We did. Hey, listen, you should stay. There's guac. And you know you can't resist the guac. I bet the sap is boring you already. Come on, let's dance. <sighs> Why do they make me choose like this? Do you hear that big sigh of like stress? Dance with Cole, dance with Jay. I mean, Cole's the one who wants to dance, and I feel like Jay's not gonna wanna dance either way, cause look at him, looking sad. I dance with Cole. All right, let's dance. Based on my record thus far, I've done a really bad job at swearing off boys. Me, what are you thinking? Huh? I always wonder what goes on in that cute head of yours. Oh, nothing. You know, just stuff. Listen, I know I'm a bit much to handle sometimes, but I just feel like sometimes you gotta shake that bad juju out, you know? You just gotta dance. No, I get it. It's kinda charming, actually. Me? Charming? Never. When you don't try. Aww. These boys, man. That girl with the pink hair back there, her hair is cute. Oh, he's mad. <gasps> She's doing the whip down, the whip is back! I'm shook, the whip is here. Oh, I missed it so much, sorry. Hey, I want you to meet somebody. Okay. Oh my gosh, the army friend. This is Lan, Lan Tessie, or Shortcake. Oh, hi Lan. You let him call you Shortcake? He thinks it's endearing. So, how do you guys know each other? Lan's my best bud from military school. We go way back. Oh, well hello. Well that's an entrance. 
Her hair is cute. Who is this? Okay, who is this? Me. Um, okay, I guess I'll just stand here and wait to be introduced. Oh, I didn't see you there, sweetheart. You're so skinny, I'm jealous. You must be Tess. It's Tessa, actually. Tessa to you. Oh, really? Tess up. It's so nice to finally meet you. Finally. Again, who is this? Oh, Coles told me so much about you. I hope nothing embarrassing. Oh, I heard plenty, believe me. Cole's such a bad boy, isn't he? Bad boy? Did she just wink at Cole? I must be imagining things, cause she just kissed her man and now she trying to wink at my man? Oh, he not my man no more? Oh. Come on, let's go dance. You don't mind, do you, Shortcake? Me? No, not at all. Um, yes, hello. Wow, fine, I'll dance with Lan then. You wanna play these games? These games are meant for two players. She gets a little wild when she's had too much to drink. Don't we all? Lan, right? Jay, it's been too long, my dude. Aw, thanks for taking care of my brother at school. Hey, I'd do anything for Cole. And you, for that matter. How'd Cole deal with all those rules at Eagle Heart Academy? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. He was probably skipping class, causing trouble, and heartache. No, tell me more. I wanna know the tea. Well, like I said, you think you know Cole Stone, but, oh, I've said too much. No, you haven't, Lan. Lan, come back, Lan. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, she's doing my dance. Does Megan see this? Megan, turn around. I never liked her. You know her? Seems like everybody does. Erica? Yeah. What don't you like about her? Don't know, just a feeling, I guess. What the hell? Mom and dad are gone for three hours and you're throwing a rager? What happened to you and Jay? We walked home and then found out Cole was having a party for me. It's a school night. Yeah, and I'm basically an orphan, so what's the problem? Bravis, you need to chill. What did you call me? Bravis, Beth and Travis, it's your couple name. I like it. Me too. Megan, shut up. Tessa, we need to talk. Uh-oh. What, Beth? Wait, where's Tessa? Seriously, I'm still upset about this party happening right now in my general living space. Okay, look, Cole's just trying to make Tessa happy in his own cold way. And frankly, it looks like it's working. Aw, I don't know. She actually does look happy. We won't stay up too late, and we'll all pitch in to help clean up, right? Yeah, I guess I can help. And Cole will help too. Please, Travis, just let your sister have some fun. Hasn't she been through enough already? I mean, Megan's right. What the heck, kids will be kids, Cole will be Cole. It's not like I have any prospects or book deals. Come on, baby, let's dance. Yeah, yeah. It's party time. Aw, brother sister dance. Maybe Cole is on to something. I haven't had this much fun in a while. Are you drinking? It's just orange juice. Whew, let me taste though. This smells like vodka, Travis. You can smell that, can't you? Where'd you get this? I don't know, it's just my drink, Tessie. You're drunk. No, you're joking. It's not even your cup. It's got the letter E written on it. You're drinking the wrong drink, Travis. This is a screwdriver. Oh, well look at that. Erica's. Damn it. <gasps> you let him drink, Tessie? No, it must have been an accident, Beth. So Cole Stone throws one party and my sober boyfriend falls off the wagon? Great. Come on, Travis. Let's get you to sit down for a second. I'm fine, really. You've had enough. Beth, it was a mistake. He didn't mean to. Look, Tessa, I know you like Cole, but whenever he's around, bad things tend to happen to other people. Um, Travis chose to drink the drink. Travis is an adult, Beth. I'm gonna defend Cole. First, Cole and I are just friends, and I'm sticking to that story. Yeah? Who are you kidding? And second, like I said, it was just an accident. He must have picked up Erica's drink by mistake. He's an alcoholic, Tessa. Or did you forget that? He's recovering, and with our help, he'll get over this, I promise. You just don't lose the disease, Tessa. It stays with you, for life. 
Don't you think I know my own brother? If you did, maybe you would have been looking out for him instead of acting all boy crazy. Beth, you better watch your tongue with me, girl. Obviously, you're too blinded by Cole's charm to realize how dangerous he is. He's ruined your life before and he's ruining everyone else's too. Come on, Travis, we're leaving. Where are you gonna go? This is his house. Beth? What's J Jay? All right, no big deal. I'll just find Cole. We can dance a little longer and then call the party off. It'll all be fine. It won't be fine. Shit, what the hell just happened? Did I just lose my best friend? Is my brother gonna be okay? Why did I agree to this stupid party in the first place? <sighs> just breathe, Tessa, breathe. I've gotta to talk to Cole and cancel the party. But wait, where is he? Oh, if I catch him making out, if I catch him making out with Erica, y'all. He's cut, he's done, he's over. That's such a sexy leather jacket. Can I try it on? Sure. Is that Cole and Erica talking alone upstairs? Kiss Cole before Erica does? Be passive aggressive? Oh, I, oh, I'm the queen of passive aggressive. I'm gonna be passive aggressive. <coughs> hey, Tessie. Hey, I was looking everywhere for you. Well, we're right here. I wasn't talking to you. Can I talk to you in private? Sure thing, shortcake. See you around, Cole. Tess, uh. Oh, so what's up? It's um my brother. He accidentally had a drink. Is he okay? No, Beth's really mad. I'm sorry, Tessa. I told people to label their drinks and be extra careful. You did? Well, yeah. Travis may not like me all that much, but I still gotta look out for him. He's my shortcake's brother. That's really sweet. Want me to call off the party? Would you? Consider it already done. I can read you like a book. Something's still bugging you. Why were you upstairs? Huh? You were alone with Erica upstairs. Why? Oh, I just had to use the bathroom. Nature's call. And what about Erica? What about her? Press call further, let it go. Oh, I'm pressing, I'm pressing on. She obviously likes you. What are you talking about? I can read you like a book. You think me and Erica, yeah, I'm not dumb Cole. I know what I saw. That's Lan's girl shortcake. Well, it sure looked like she was trying to flirt with you. Oh no, she just wanted to see my jacket. That's all. That's all. Cross my heart and hope to kiss you a thousand times. When has that line ever worked? Exactly twice. You're disgusting. Whew, good to know he wasn't um hooking up with someone else, even though we're not in a relationship. You know how that works. 2018, that's how we date. Let's have one more dance to close out the night. A slow one. Just you and me? Always. Ooh, look at us. I don't know who I like, clearly. Uh-oh, she does like Cole. <gasps> Girl, look, I already ruined Nicole's life, and if you want some, too. Oh, that's the end? Well. All right, guys, so it looks like we got a new character up in here, Erica. Erica seems to know a lot about the Stone Boys, and apparently she's dating Cole's best friend, but I think she likes Cole. And I think I might be mad, because I think I still like Cole. But Jay, this is just too much for me. They're not even real boys, and I'm stressed. But question of the day, do you think Erica likes Cole? I mean, judging by her face, I don't know. Or do you think she's just playing games? Let me know in the comments what you think Erica's intentions are because I need to know. Because if we need to fight, I learned, I learned some moves the other day. But anyways, make sure to follow my social medias over here so we can talk about this episode. I got a lot to say, you know I do. And don't forget to share it with your friends to let everybody know about the tea we just discovered. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step.